Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Darren Crouch. I'm the president and uh, co-founder of Passages International, and thank you very much for joining us this uh, morning or afternoon, wherever you are. This is the fifth of our Continuing the Conversation webinars that we've had this year, and this one's going to focus on our very unique uh, and exclusive BioTree urn. Uh, but I wanted to give you just a little bit of context before we get into it. Um, you know, we've covered uh, a lot of cremation data. We've covered a lot of scattering data. Uh, we've talked about how the funeral experience has changed and how consumers are looking for uh, different options and how important that is that funeral directors are paying attention to that change in the um, desires and demands of the consumer and trying to adapt to that versus um, attempting to have them fall in line with, with your current practices, products and services. Um, the previous uh, webinars that we, we, we covered, we talked about scattering solutions, we talked about scattering on water and, and covered some products for that. We also um, went in detail in one of our products, one of our more popular products, the scattering tubes, and we looked at how they work and how those can be used. Um, and the last webinar that we did, we talked about um, earth scattering and how to use some of our earthen products for use uh, for burial in the ground and really creating a different experience for, for families. Um, in this webinar, as I mentioned, we're going to talk about the BioTree urn. We're going to look at how it works. We're going to uh, outline some of the benefits for your families, the benefits for the environment, uh, and possibly most importantly, benefits for your business. Um, and we'll talk about some of the experiences that families have had uh, using this product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop um, I'm going to start the presentation. I'll share my screen uh, and we'll get going on this. Okay. All right. So just to give you a little bit of context about Passages International, we've been in business 21 years. A lot of people that I talk to um, are really surprised to hear that, but we uh, we started in the business in 1999. We started in the back of a funeral home, and uh, we've become the leaders in green and alternative funeral products uh, in the in the industry. Um, and so our brand is well known for biodegradable and eco-friendly products, but we are much more than that. We see ourselves as a solution uh, for funeral homes and funeral professionals to help them cater to the new consumer. Uh, we understand that uh, for 20, 30, 40, 50 years, um, you've been conducting traditional burials with embalming, church services, metal caskets, concrete vault, graveside, uh, those types of events. Um, the challenge for you today is that those uh, is that consumers are no longer uh, demanding those services and those products as much as they were. And if we're, you know, over 50% cremation, I'm not sure where you are, but uh, the national average for cremation is over 50%. So at least half of your families are selecting cremation and uh, looking for something very different. And so uh, we've really positioned ourselves as a solution for you to help you cater to that other 50% that doesn't want traditional options, whether they want a green burial, whether they want to scatter, uh, whether they want a biodegradable urn. It's very, very important that you have the options for them. Otherwise, they end up uh, selecting a, a basic cardboard or plastic box and you end up losing out. So as we talked about earlier, I really want to touch on some of the data. Um, this is not my data. This is NFDA consumer survey from this year, 2020. It was released in September, I believe. And it shows that almost 43% of consumers intend to scatter cremated remains in a sentimental place. I would argue of the 18% that say they have no preference, that most of those, or at least half of those, would also intend to scatter. And so when you look at it, half of the families that you serve intend to scatter. Um, what I find as I visit with funeral homes is there's this huge disconnect between what the funeral home is showing in their selection room to what the data is telling us families want. So if data is telling us that families intend to scatter, doesn't it make sense that when they come into your selection room, 50% of those options are geared towards scattering? Uh, if you look at the data, I think it's less than 30% less than intend to use a permanent urn, but I would guarantee if I walked into most of your selection rooms, 80% of the urns that I'm going to see are wood, marble, bronze. Yeah, and we can make the argument that a cloisonne is a scattering product, but I think most consumers um, don't consider that to be a scattering product because they're thinking, what am I going to do with this thing afterwards? So 
I think if one of the important things that you take from this webinar is number one, you need to be aware of the data. And number two, you need to align yourself with the data and not the expect and not expect the, the families to conform with what you're doing. You guys need to make the change uh, to align more closely with what they're doing. So as I touched on before, if a family walks in the door uh, and they intend to scatter and you only have one scattering product out of 30 and they don't like that scattering product, chances are they're going to end up with this black plastic box. And you are either going to give it away and generate no revenue from that sale uh, or you might charge $25. Um, yeah, and you might make 23, um, but you're losing a huge opportunity to sell them something um, that's much more valuable and actually um, will provide them with a better experience. You know, as I, as these points say, obviously there's very little value in a plastic box. Uh, it's hard to sell them and it leaves a really negative impression. When that family gets home, they sit down with your invoice, they sit down with the cremator remains in a black plastic box around the kitchen table with the rest of the family that didn't make arrangements with you. And they're asking each other, who on earth did we deal with that we spent $3,000 on a cremation or $1,500 on a cremation and all we have to show for it is a black plastic box. So it's really bad PR. It's really a terrible product for, uh, in the industry. And, and we argue that if you have other options for families, many of them are likely to choose those options. So um, some of the other data that we come across, uh, the same NFDA consumer survey from this year shows that all, over 60% of families are interested in greener funeral options. Uh, that doesn't mean that everyone wants to be buried in a shroud and a hand dug grave but it does mean there's considerable interest and you should be looking at your selection and look at your service offerings to really be making those available. I mean, I think if you think about going into any business um, out there, whether it's uh, the bank or the grocery store or wherever you're going, typically they have some kind of greener option. Uh, and I think it's important that uh, when someone loses a loved one and they come to the funeral home, there are greener options for them to select from. Okay, so the, the product that we're gonna focus on today, as I mentioned, is the, is the bio tree urn. And so what I'd like to do is uh, show you this video and we'll touch a little bit on this video later. Uh, it basically talks about the, the bio tree and how you can use it. Uh, but this is a great tool for you to actually have available for families to look at in the funeral home or the selection room or to have available on your website. So I'll play this video for you for, for a couple of minutes. Presenting the bio tree urn turning cremated remains into a lasting living memorial. To get started, redeem your tree by using the code on a memorial tree certificate and complete the online form. You will receive a 12 inch sapling within seven to 10 days. You are now ready to prepare the urn. Cradle the urn in your hands and gently push upwards to separate the base from the cork divider and top. Place the filter into the base of the urn and add the cremated remains in the biodegradable bag provided with each urn. Each urn includes a nutrient-rich cocoa peat disc that is the soil in which the tree will grow. This disc, which expands when water is added, along with the shape of the urn and the unique filter process, create a special system that neutralizes the pH of the cremated remains, allowing the tree to grow. As the soil expands, Create a pilot hole in which to plant the tree. Add any remaining water and gently use the wooden stir provided to ensure that the root is fully covered with soil. Your urn does not need to be buried immediately. Rather, it can now be kept in your home while the tree becomes established and you start the healing process. Bury the urn in the ground or a plant pot when the urn starts to show signs of cracking. Ensure that the top of the urn is visible the tree will continue to grow and the urn will biodegrade fully over time. Go to biotree.earth or scan the QR code on the back of the geotag. Using the unique geotag code included with your urn, register your location and post a unique memorial. Once complete, you can view the location of your biotree on our map and view the memorial. Biotree, leaving a living memorial celebration of a cherished life.
So this video is available on our website. Um, you can download it. You can also link to YouTube uh, and uh, link it to your websites as well, or have it available in your selection room, as I mentioned, or arrangement room. Um, but as, as the video mentions, this is a premium design. Um, it's made of bamboo and cornstarch fibers, and it has a natural uh, binding agent. Uh, the center divider is called Portuguese uh, cork uh, that actually has holes in it. And um, the cocoa peat disc sits inside the cocoa peat um, disc. And as you water the, the plant, the nutrients from the cocoa peat disc filter down over the cremate remains and lower the pH. Um, we don't actually provide a tree uh, with the urn. What we do is we provide a certificate, which I'll talk about later, um, but the, the family can then plant that tree in the, um, in the urn. Um, so when, when, the, when the funeral home gets the urn, included with the urn would be this memorial tree certificate. Um, you would give the certificate to the family or you can do it for them. There is a certificate number, a unique certificate number on the certificate. Uh, you'd go to our website, complete a form, uh, include the certificate, and a tree will be sent to the directly to the family. Um, uh, and so the family would redeem it themselves, and the tree is guaranteed to grow for up to one year, and it's specific to the climate that we're sending the tree to. So, um, you know, if the tree was being sent to California, it might be very different from a tree that's being sent to Boston. Um, so it's really based on where the tree is being sent on the selection of the tree. So using the bio tree, the bio tree is essentially a keepsake size urn. It's not a full size urn. Uh, it contains up to 90 cubic inches of cremated remains. We do provide a biodegradable bag that goes in the base of the urn below the Portuguese cork um, divider. Um, as it showed in the video, you add 27 ounces of water um, once the lid is back on, obviously. And that cocoa peat disc, which looks like a hockey puck in the middle, uh, will expand to become the soil that the tree uh, is planted in. And it is a, it's a nutrient rich uh, cocoa peat disc that the uh, tree's root will uh, become established in. Um, you can see also that we have two colors. Um, we have the green and the white. Uh, and I think one of the differentiating um, concepts of the, of the tree, the bio tree urn, is that can, the tree can actually be planted inside the urn and then the urn can grow uh, the tree can grow in the urn on your kitchen table or your dining room table. You do not have to plant or bury the urn immediately. Um, and so a lot of people often say they're not ready to let go uh, or they want to see this the tree become established. And the, the benefit of this product is you can actually uh, grow the tree in the urn inside your house uh, for several weeks or months. Um, the sign that the urn needs to be planted or buried in the ground is when the urn starts to crack. Um, when it does start to crack, it's not an immediate thing that you have to rush out and immediately plant it or bury it. Um, but you should be thinking about it and within the next few weeks, you should uh, bury or plant the urn in the ground or a plant pot. Um, the last part of this is the, is the ability to geotag um, the exact location of where the, um, where the, the cremated and the, where the urns are buried. Uh, a lot of people often ask, you know, they're sometimes skeptical about whether uh, a tree will grow in an urn with cremated remains. Um, and they're correct. The, the pH of cremated remains will um, kill the roots of a tree and ultimately kill a tree. But the system that, that has been designed um, that I touched on earlier, where when the tree is growing on the top and as you water the tree, um, water and nutrients flow through the, the cork divider and onto the cremated remains, lowering the pH. The reason we show you those pictures is because uh, you can get a sense of, of urns that we planted here at our office uh, back in April. And you can see there's a significant change in the size of these um, in the last six or seven months. And so uh, these trees are doing well. You can see the bright emerald green on the ones on the left. Um, and you can see them becoming a bit more established on the right. Um, but the system really works. Um, so the geotagging, uh, what you see in the top right corner of your screen um, is the geotag that you would receive with the urn. Uh, the geotag is typically located in the base of the urn with the biodegradable bag. Um, and as I mentioned, you would enter that geotag into a form on our website uh, in order for the family to redeem the tree. You can either give, the, give it to them and they can do it themselves, or you can do it for them. 
um, not only will that mark um, a specific location on the map, but they can also post a short or brief memorial online that, that visitors can actually view. It's a few lines of text. Um, and so when, when the family is actually out planting the tree, uh, they can actually mark the coordinates, the geographic coordinates that they find on their Google Maps. They can either note it or screenshot it. Uh, and if they have service, they can actually register their geotag right then and there, or they can do it at a later date, as long as they have those coordinates uh, to register where the tree is actually planted. And then, as I mentioned, uh, the tree will appear on a map. Uh, you can view the other bio trees that have been uh, planted or buried around the country. Uh, and you can also hover over some of those trees and see some of the memorials uh, from some of the individuals who, who've uh, passed away and been buried in this manner. So selling the bio tree, I think that's really important that not only do you understand how the product works uh, and the features of the product, but how to sell it. Um, we provide rack cards, which are shown in the bottom right corner. Uh, they're actually front to back. Uh, in the top right corner, we also, have, we also have trifold brochures that we can provide you. And we also have artificial display trees. So that display tree is meant to display inside the, inside the urn. I'm not sure if you noticed when I was on video earlier, but we actually have one over my shoulder, I believe, uh, that you can see. But it's an, it's an additional merchandising solu solution for you. Um, of course, we also have the video uh, and we can also create a merchandising display in your selection room. Uh, if you look at the bottom left, that's actually a, a merchandising display poster that we did for uh, a local funeral home. And what we're doing here, and I think I'll talk about this in the next slide, uh, is really selling uh, the experience. And I think I'll touch on that a bit more, but we do have uh, posters that we can provide you with as well. So um, obviously the urn is designed to celebrate life. It's really a different way of thinking about it. Um, people that live a, a more sustainable life would see value in this. Um, the, the vision is to change you know, traditional cemeteries to forests. Uh, there's a huge carbon, uh, uh, there's an environmental offset um, that these help um, offset. And obviously we're saving vast amounts of space if we're not um, burying people, people in cemeteries. Um, and so it's, it's, it's been very, very popular so far, and we're very excited about the, the, um, the response that we've had from people. So going back to the experience, um, we have been, in one of our last uh, presentations, we really touched on uh, focusing on the experience. I think when families come into the funeral home and we start talking about wood urns and bronze urns and marble urns, um, families really get lost. I think one of the things that we should really be talking about and asking the family is what do you intend to do with the cremated remains? Uh, what were the values of the deceased or what are the values of, the, of, your, of your family and how do you intend to remember this person? Um, and so we've basically created a program called where, where, where would you like to be remembered? Um, and we think we talk about blowing in the wind, swimming amongst the dolphins, among the wildflowers. Um, and we're, what we're trying to do is help you sell the sizzle and not the steak. And so if you can paint the picture for the family of the experience that they can create, then the price of the urn becomes irrelevant because uh, many of the experiences that our products allow families to have are really priceless. I mean, we have, we have a biodegradable turtle urn that somebody purchased from a funeral home, they painted it, uh, they put it in the ocean and during the service uh, from the boat, a live turtle swam up next to that urn. And so those experiences are really priceless. And then when you think about, okay, that family paid three or $400 for a paper turtle. Yes, that seems expensive, but when they have that experience, the price tag becomes very small. And so I would really encourage you to be thinking about, you know, the experiences that the families want to create and how can you match an appropriate product to that experience as an expert so that you can help them achieve that experience. And as I mentioned, if you're able to help them with that, then the price of the product really becomes irrelevant if they can see the picture of the experience that they can create. Um, so if you have any experiences that are unique, um, please feel free to share them with us. Um, I think we have um, a few minutes left. And if you have uh, any questions, I'd be more than happy to field any questions. Um, 
So it, I mean, I can I can unmute myself. Um, well, I'll stop sharing, and if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. If there are no questions, we can end it here. Um, if you do have any questions in the future, please feel free to reach out. My email is Darren, D-A-R-R-E-N, at Passages International. Uh, feel free to email me, or of course, you can call the office um, and order one of these or ask any questions. And we have a lot of information on the product on the website. And if you need assistance with the merchandising or the marketing, uh, we're happy to help with that. So uh, with that, I'd like to thank you very much. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And um, we have our last webinar of the season, I think on December 10th, uh, which will basically wrap up everything that we covered this, this year. Uh, so please join us on uh, December 10th. Uh, there'll be emails coming out where you can sign up and we will um, also start again next year. So uh, thanks for joining us and have a very good day. Bye-bye.